hello welcome to ss unit so see this side and this is continuation of ssis tutorial so today we gonna discuss about for each loop audio enumerator in our last video we have discussed about the file enumerator so before going forward if you haven't watched last video of this video series so i would strongly recommend to watch that video so let's start with audio enumerator so what audio enumerator does basically audio enumerator is used when data into the table and want to read data one by one and want to perform some action on it then we can use audio enumerator or we can also say that it's used to read data from object type variable so what it mean as i have two case study in our first case study we want to read data from employees table and display one by one so first of all we need to load data from employee table to a object type variable in ssis then we can use for each loop container with area enumerator that would read data from object type variable and display according to our requirement so before going ssdt let's have a look of sql server table so this is our table as we can see it has 13 rows and it has four columns so we want to read data one by one so go to on ssdt and here i want to add one more package then i wish to rename this package with for each loop and this is for audio enumerator now i need to use an execute sql task because it will pick data from employees table and load into object type variable so double click on this execute sql task and here i need to make the connection so we can click on new connection as i have already made the connection so i want to use that one click on okay here we need to specify our select statement as i have already written the select statement so i need to copy this and go to on ssdt and paste it here now click on okay and inside this inside this result set we want full result set go to on result set and here we need to add a result set and this result set should be object type so go to on variable name and here we need to create a new variable data type of this object should be object and this is our object type so we can use object data now click on okay again okay basically execute sql task will be executed and it will load data from table to object type variable now i need to use for each loop container and we need to connect with execute sql task and here we need to configure our for each loop container now double click on this for each loop container go to on collections and here we have enumerator types so i need to use audio enumerator this time here it will accept object type variable so i can select our object type variable because this variable will hold the data once our package will be executed now go to on variable mappings and here we need to specify those columns which we are getting from database and we want to use so here as we can see we are having four columns first is employee id employee name salary and department so employee id and salary and department id is our integer data types and employee name is our worker data type so here i need to create four new variables and this is for employee id so i can use as employee id and it should be integer so i can use integer 32 here we need to specify default value so i going to use zero now click on okay as index zero because we are getting first column so it should be index 0 for employee name index would be 1 for salary 2 department id 3 now go to on ssdt and create three more variables and this is for employee name so i can use as employee name it should be string type now click on okay so next variable next variable should be our salary type so we can use as salary and it should be integer so i can use integer 32 default value would be 0 click on okay here i need to create one more variable and this is for department id so i can use 
department ID and this is our integer type so I can use integer 32 and default value would be 0 now click on ok as we can see index 0 1 2 3 so we have mapped our variable successfully now click on ok so finally we have done our for each loop container now we want to read data so how we can read the data I have to use a script task inside this for each loop container now double click on this script task read only variable we need to select the variables which we have created so our first department id employee id employee name and next variable should be our salary so this is salary now click on ok then we need to click on edit script so here we want to write code to display the output so i gonna use message box dot so then i need to specify tts dot variables i need to specify variable names so these are the variable name now value dot to string i want to concatenate id so i can use id and we are getting id from this employee id so i can remove other variables so it will display the id next i want to display employee name so we can use emp name so we are getting employee name from our employee variable so i need to use dts dot variables and this time we want to get values from employee name variable so this is our employee name variable now click on dot value dot to string so we have mapped employee id and employee name next i want to add our salary so we can use salary dts dot variables and here i need to specify salary variable so this is our salary variable now i can use dot value dot to string and last is department id so i can use department id and this is also getting from variable so i can use dts dot variables and here i need to specify department id variable so this is our department id variable now i need to click on value dot to string we have done our code now we can close it and click on ok i can save it and click on start so here as we can see if the employee id is 1 employee name is Joan, salary and department id so we are getting all the data now click on ok this is for id 2 id 3 4 5 6 so it will display all the records until employee id 13 so package executed successfully i can stop this package now i think we have understand how we can use for each loop container and this is our basic case study in our second case study we want to display data from employee table and it would be department wise so here i want to so here i want to filter out on the behalf of department id go to on variables and here i want to create one more variable and this is for department id value and it should be integer and i want to initialize default value as one i can close it double click on this execute sql task go to on select statement and here i need to write where department id should be equals to question mark then this parameter will be mapped in parameter mapping as i have discussed when we have discussed about the execute sql task go to on parameter mapping click on add and here in variable so we want to get values from department id value 
then it should be numeric type then here we need to specify parameter index so that would be 0 because we have only one parameter and size is minus 1 that is your standard size now click on ok save this package and click on start so this time it will reflect only those records where department id is 1 as we can see we are getting 1 department id 1 1 so our package executed successfully i hope you have understand how we can use adio enumerator thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos thank you so much